drove me up to Mulholland and we did some work. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... was a lovely woman. Come on, detective. I was talking. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You say you liked Celine McCall? How much did you like her? You too cozy up when she was drunk? You're trying to lay this on me? I hope you got more than just hot air to back that up, wise guy. <laughs> Celine was a funny lady. There's a lot to like about her, but she drank way too much. I kept an eye on her because I liked her. Because I felt sorry for her husband. You got a problem with that? How about a name? This is a murder beef, McCall. You don't want any adverse publicity for this place, do you? If I had names, I would give them to you. I like Celine. I'd like to see you get whoever did this. Clear on that? Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you killed her, McCall. She finally dumped Henry, but still she wasn't interested in you. She was in here flirting, and that was it for you. You took the ring because it has some link to you. You're full of cheap shots, aren't you, detective? <sighs> Speak to the temp bar, man. I was here for a couple of hours after I closed up, and my wife will testify that I was in all night. I think I've had enough of you and your theories. Was it valuable? Could it be motive for her murder? Who could say these days? I think it had more sentimental than monetary value. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. You're lying, McCall. You're covering for Henry. You called him and told him what time she was leaving. You're an asshole, you know that? Where did you get off, pal? I feel bad enough about what happened to Celine without you slinging mud. Was he ever violent with her? Celine came in here last night looking like she'd taken a slap. They don't live together anymore, so it might not have been him. McCall, you said you liked her, and yet you've been no help at all. I want Celine's address. 142 North Union. Now get the hell out of my bar. I better get back to sorting out the pay packets. Come on, detective. I was talking. So? We done? Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly.
A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes, at around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but I got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. I've been helpful. Now it's time to let me get on with running my business. Too slow, Rusty. I'm busy hey, here, Phelps. Ronnie. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. <laughs>